Hey guys, Ben Pearson on Roaster Tracker. We are back with the wonderful roguelike game of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We are making our way through as a Minotaur Berserker tutorial -y mode, and we're having some fun. We have some decent weapons. I'm gonna drop that Orpal Vorax now. We do not need you. Um, one identified potion. I think we're gonna attack this ghost. Uh, we should be fine. It's only yellow. What abilities do you have? You're a Minotaur Fighter. Yeah, this will be fine. So, we're going to go ahead and put our party hat on because it is a ghost. A ghost is a player who died here. So we're going to uh, attack them. And they have these nice little, you know, potions and such. The magic, we didn't pick up the magic potion, did we? We did, why did we? Let's not pick up magic potions anymore, please. Okay. Out of curiosity, we have one potion, which is probably might. We have a number of scrolls. We have four, about 10 scrolls that are unidentified. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So we probably have everything except for acquirement. Although we may well have an acquirement. Hmm. Let's identify the. Oh, we have two potions. Berserk Rage, we don't really need it. Although we can use it without tapping into our piety, which is kind of nice. Okay. Do I unlock you? We need a better weapon soon. We've missed the two best places to get weapons, though, unfortunately, which is the the gauntlet and the um, the the gauntlet is where the minotaur is, and I forget what the other one is. Um, Nagas are slow, but they can fire poison. They're a fun character to play. We played one recently that you can see how it ended on it should be posted around the same time as this okay so we can identify scrolls i'm gonna read one of the rarer ones hey brand weapon excellent we're gonna brand our broad axe of protection not the best brand but it'll do this basically means when we're attacking we gain some protection points but it does no ability to hit harder Battle Axe, the Rage Star, eh, that's tempting, but the Intelligence hit we cannot really afford. It's tempting though. So let's come here so we can only fight things one at a time. Or rather, they can only fight us one at a time. What is there here? We have a base ring, which is not that interesting. We have the scale mail could be. It would be pretty challenging for us to get there. We're going to ignore it. These summons will eventually get tired of chasing us, I think. Oh, that one's real. One of them's real. Well, we'll get them. The summons don't actually give us any uh, experience when we kill them, unfortunately. So we're going to stay out of range of the statue. You could say we're staying 
out of the statue of limitations. Haha. <laughs> Okay, good, good. Kill the frog. Another identify, excellent. Boulder beetles can be annoying. It's surprising we haven't found one. They jump around and they can hit very hard. But they're not too terrible to whack. Good. So let's get on here. We're going to identify another scroll. Hey, acquirement. This will let us pick a item of our choice. And oh boy. Ooh, this is tough. That ax would be huge, but we can never unwield it. This fragile means you unwield it and it goes away. And because it's not a firebrand, we could get ourselves into some serious trouble if we fight hydras, and we're very likely to be finding hydras in lair. So as good as this, this axe is, we can't take it. So then we have the Ring of Harmony, our elect, our poise, both very good, magic power, doesn't matter. EV helps a little bit minus intelligence, which uh, we don't have a lot of intelligence to begin with. Or we could take this cloak that is our corrosion and slay plus two, which will hit two harder. I think it's gonna be the cloak. That's a lot of money too. But we're gonna take this cloak. I think we'll take the statue on when we hit the bottom of layer of... How do we... Yeah, we'll come back to it. But we're gonna leave it be for the short term. Good. Uh, let's identify... Oh, we have stacks of two now that we can do. Magic mapping, excellent. If we'd had magic mapping, we would have hit the portals. Got the armor, entrance to slime, which is no big deal. More death yaks. Uh, huh. Let's come right here. Oh, it's not a death yak, it's a cat. Yeah, that's a death yak. This guy will turn us into stone, which is not as big of a deal as it sounds. Um, but it can be bad if we're not careful. Turning into stone, well, not surprisingly, it's Hurts hard, but um, you can't do anything, but it also your stone, so it's hard to hit you. So it can be bad, but as long as you're in a decent spot like that corner, it really wouldn't hurt us too badly. Oak lobe plants, those are annoying. Uh, we do have the corrosion resistance, right? We actually have that, well, yeah, we have our cloak on and we have a ring we could use, but our Croge only has one pip, so it doesn't really matter. So let's just see if we fire a wand at these guys. Not susceptible. That's nice. Uh, we can fire the flame and because they're near water, it will create a steam cloud, which will make it harder for them to see us. So then, then they spit nasty. Honestly though, if we're gonna attack them, the way to do it is to just attack them. Do we have a, no. I was looking to see if we had a digging wand so we could dig a hole. There's more plants, eesh. 
Yeah, we're not gonna take that. Or Oklahoma lands. Nope. Go down. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh. All of the downstairs are there. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Well. It won't hurt to just, we're gonna go in just a couple of squares just to see what we're up against. Yep, yeah, all of the downstairs are there. Is there a wand of digging anywhere? Nope. So we have two options at this point in time. Well, three. One is we blast through the oak globes. I don't recommend that. Um, we probably would be okay being a Minotaur Berserker. Option two, we can take this downstairs and then we have no way to get back up. That is also not a great option. Option three is we... Um, Abandon this and come back, but that's also a pretty poor option. Let's let's try to attack them one at a time, and we're gonna fire javelins. Yeah, let's fire our javelins at it. Okay, let's keep shooting our flame wand. So we killed one. So corrosion has a couple of effects, by the way. Um, the most annoying of which is that it will actually eat up your uh, armor and weapons ability to attack, but you just rest for a little bit and that is healed. So, okay, we killed one. Now we're limited to just the one in sight. Let's go ahead and throw some javelins at this guy. Well, we should really train a little bit of throwing skill, but we're going to fire this anyways. All of our javelins. Okay, and now let's attack. See how horrible our hand weapons would do. Uh, we can't mind burst. Will the roots do anything? We can't go that far. Um, well, fudge. Are they immune to poison? It's resistant to poison. So what are we gonna do? Well, this may be a case to call a friend. We're gonna ask for a friend, tell attack there. Good. So we're just gonna heal up and now we just have one Okola plant that we have no stuff that we can use. Uh, we could fog. So we we'll read, well, actually, let's just berserk and go attack it. Okay, Whew. one at a time is not so bad. Three would have been very nasty. I think we handled that well. All right, let's go check the bottom layer of la. Bottom level of layer. Uh oh, hydras. Let's go up. I'm gonna switch to our hydra axe. Good. Let's go back down. Attack the hydra. Good. 
we do have some scrolls to read. Scroll of Poison. Vulnerability. Mm. Those can be useful in the right situation, but they're pretty risky because it makes us more vulnerable to magic. It's actually... well, let's see if we can kill them. Lock us in. Turn to stone. Okay. Not too bad. Good. Ah, so far so good. Got another Hydra. We're gonna let him come to fight us in a hidey hole. Chop off some heads. No big deal. Use a better axe. We have five unidentified scrolls and six. So, almost certainly, these two we would love to just read now. The noise, we don't care. Torment, we don't really care. Immolation isn't that great. The summoning is the only one I really don't want to waste. What about potions? We have just two. Okay. Let's let him come get us here. Good. I forgot they fire. Fire, fire at us. Okay. Uh, electric eel. This is normally what I like to use my fire for, although we had a good reason to use it otherwise. Mind Burst will also do in a pinch, though. We can just blow those guys up so that they cannot attack us. Mm. Decent, actually, at coverage. We're going to keep going slow. This is the bottom layer. There's usually some nice treasure vaults that are in here. What do we got here? Anti-magic battle axe. Maybe. Okay. Elephants. They aren't too scary, but they can push you back. Got our throwing skill increasing. We'll probably be training something new very soon. Okay. Uh, honestly, I, I don't think we're going to use that Evening Star now that we have the Broad Axe. We're better trained. Okay. Let's get our evocations up so we can use our wands better. And I think that's going to be the next goal. A single solitary oak lobe plant. And one moreover that we can probably find a way to sneak up on. Let's go right here and we can sneak up on it not gonna do anything fancy like berserk good that was not too bad i think this is the elephant one uh i'm gonna explore everything except for here so i'm going to hit x and i'm gonna hit e twice to say do everything except for going in that door good now this door not really sure what's in here, but we're going to open it up. Okay. Dire elephants. That's what I suspected. That's going to turn into a bunch of elephants. Some of the statues will come alive. Ooh, that hit me a lot harder than I thought it would. Death the Eximlacron. Okay. Nothing too interesting potion-wise. Good, good. I 
There's a lot of elephants here. A death yak. It's interesting that death yaks have not really come in swarms like they usually do. Final berserk. Apparently, for death yaks, we're going to have to berserk. So we'll just keep that in mind. Uh, let's come here so we're attacking more one at a time. I, well, it's Death Yak, which is fine. It's the Dire Elephants that are the problem. What the? Well, we'll quaff a healing wounds. Um, I'm going to get berserk. I hate doing that. It feels very risky, but that guy was doing some serious damage to us. Dagger of speed, and we have some glowing battle axe, which looks pretty cool. But we'd have to go through a statue to base it off. We know that the dire elephants, we seem to need to berserk to get through them. Let's come here and close up. Good. Wand of Charming. We have an elephant. Elefonte. No big deal. You may push this around a little bit, but that's just fine. Uh, let's go into this tunnel. Heal up. Good, good. The Necromancer will take care of. Got Elephant Zombie, Dire Elephant Skeleton, and a Spectral... Okay. I think we're gonna come here. Let's take them on one at a time. Okay, no big deal. Lots of necromancers, so Trog is gonna be very happy we're getting rid of the evil magic users. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Plus five hand axe of electrocution. It's pretty good. So what's your deal? Um, it's dangerous, it's immune to things, it can see invisible, it's intelligent, it can summon stuff, and it can mesmerize. So we're going to... Let's go ahead and use Trog's hand so we gain some ability to resist stuff. We're going to berserk before we even walk in there and we're going to just bash that thing. Cool. Battle Axe of Draining. We've seen better battle axes. Uh, the Anti-Magic Battle Axe in particular would be tempting. The Flame Battle Axe... We may want to pick that up as our new Anti-Hydra weapon. Oh, crazy Yusuf, I forgot to go take care of you. Huh. Go to layer three. Well, let's see if there's anything worth picking up here before we leave. Okay, didn't see anything. Armor. Um, yeah. So go to layer three. Now, we got to figure out the best way to invade this ice island here. Um, obviously we'll put on the, we'll use it over the sea invisible. So now we're flying for free. We can attack the demon. 
Let's go Berserk so we can finish this off quickly. Uh, Pot of Vapor. There's a Cloud of Vapor no matter where we go. It seems to be least bad here. Oh. Okay. Woo. That was rough. That is some good armor. Wow. So nine scale armor, will plus, strength two, C and Viz. J, so we're at 18 and 12. We're at 22 and 14 with this armor. So we can drop our that. Uh, we also don't need a C and Viz ring. Well, we'll keep it because I suspect we're going to be using it eventually. Okay. This is fine. Uh, let's put on the corrosion resistance then. It's not really something you need all the time. And yeah. I think this will make a nice end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Let me know whatever questions or comments you guys have next and we will continue soon with the bottom of dungeon. Thanks guys for everything. Take care.